Hello everyone, it's Ethan from the Orlando Tourist and we're here at SeaWorld today on Tuesday, February 15th. We're going to ride some more Icebreaker. Uh, Icebreaker does open in like three more days, so we're still here for the pass holder previews. We've ridden it four times, so check out those last videos. We're here for a little bit and just stay tuned. So we just entered the park, um, not too busy today. As we come up on Manto, it looks like it is down for refurbishment. And I will put I will put the dates on the screen so you can see. It's only this week, it will be open on the weekend, and the next week, and then it should be complete. They did just finish the paint on the, the ride, and I have written it with the repaint, it's awesome. But right now it is down. So check out the last video if you want to see some more footage. Also, the Stingray exhibit right now is closed. Hopefully it will reopen soon. So Kraken is down right now for its winter maintenance. It should, re it should reopen in the next month or so. Journey to Atlantis is the one that's down, not Kraken. But Kraken's right over here. Kraken is open. And it did recently just get its repaint. And we have been on it. It's very smooth with the repaint. So Manta is down for its maintenance and repaint. Kraken is going to open today, it's just not finished with this morning checkup, so it will open soon. Very quiet in the Antarctica area, five minutes for the penguin exhibit, but we're going to skip out for now. So we passed the main market area, and they had some Seven Seas Food Festival tents. I believe they only have the festival on the weekend, as when I've been here during the week, I have not seen any of the tents open. We were going to head on to Mako now, since it's the only ride open at the moment. Icebreaker previews are from 12 to 4 today, and the grand opening is this Friday the 18th. Just got like five rides on Mako, got some POV in the back row, we'll ride it again later. Um, it's right here, no line, pretty good, but we did see Kraken testing, so Kraken is open, we're gonna head there in just a few minutes. I'm about to ride Kraken now, let's hop on.
just got off crack and we filmed in row seven vertically, but now we are heading over to the pass holder lounge and then icebreaker for our previews. And we did see some of the work going in on Manta while we were on Mako. Yeah, let's head over back towards that direction. We have some Seven Seas Food Festival tents all the way over here. We were here on Saturday, it was very packed. That's why we're here during the week. But Seven Seas Food Festival is drawing in the crowds. It's a success so far and the smells were really nice. So if you want food, come and get it on the weekends. You won't be disappointed. We're heading into the Pass Holder Lounge. It's at the restaurant right by Infinity Falls. Right over there, it's open from 12 to four. Just got out of the Pass Holder Lounge. We're gonna make our way over to Icebreaker because the previews did begin. And we got our beverage from the Pass Holder Lounge as well. And as we head to Iceberg, I'm going to show you guys the new beer garden that opened. We might actually, we did post it in the last video, so check it out. We're going to walk the other pathway to save time today. Heading up on Icebreaker, it's already running. We have been on it like four times, but we're going to head on it again. It looks like empty rows. Past member previews are almost done as it opens this week. It's a really smooth ride, definitely check it out. It's in my opinion, it's more intense than Mako, but it's really fun either way. We're at Icebreaker now. Let's film through the queue for you guys. We have a test seat right here. We got some like chili audio playing, like it's from a blizzard. The rest of the queue over here. We have some displays over here. Some Arctic facts. And we have the station right over here. We go out onto the switch track and then onto the rod. Not a very big queue. We have Colin and I over here, theme parks and more, and the real hat photographer. I've ridden Icebreaker before, but he hasn't. This is going to be his first time on it. It's going to be fun. So, we're in the front row. We're going to see no his genuine reaction to the ride. He has not been on it. So, let's see what he thinks. Heading on to the switch track. Oh, it seems. Oh, you can already tell it's smooth. Yeah. We're gonna start with the launch backwards. There's four launches. Oh snap. Going on to the oh, main snap. track now. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Airtime hill. Oh, here we go. Spike. Oh, this is sick. It's quick, but like, yeah. okay, being almost six foot five, uh, your legs hurt on this ride. Like, it's like digging into my skin, but I mean, it's fine. Like when you're, like, it only hurts when you're going up. Yeah. Like, cause when you're going backwards, it's fine. When you're going up, that's your comfort hurts. But lift the harness and step like carefully like over good the blue bar. Ten. Yeah. I think I'm gonna have to ride. I feel like I'm gonna have to ride. Can't get in the back rows here. Yeah. Cause I think it's gonna be completely different. Yeah. So I'm gonna film. I'll go we'll get back in line. Now we're in row Keep six, hands, not the back. But it's close to the back. Inside the so train at all times. Hold on to your lap harness. Face forward. It's still digging in my legs, but I think I might just have rest. 
and get ready to break I think the they had a little mix up with the audio. But it's a really smooth ride. It's like super smooth. Um, it's fast too. Yeah. I didn't think it was going to be too fast. Welcome back. We're gonna get higher up so that might. Yeah, it's gonna be really fun. Yeah. Here we go. I feel like it's smoother back here. Yeah. Too, so it's yeah. not like you're not flying up when, yeah. you, when it slams on the brakes, you know. So something it's about row like six is, um, as you can see in the train in front of us, there's a, a bigger gap. So typically in the other trains that you can grab onto the handles, but because there's a bigger gap, that's probably why it's a little bit better on his legs as well. I like just, it. I like the back row a lot more than the front. The front, I feel like it's more like. Thank you for riding. Like, yeah, I'm right you. Yeah. And enjoy the rest of your day here. Sit back with your back against the seat and head against the headrest. And get ready to break the ice. Wow. Ready to break the ice? Yeah. I've broken it twice already. Welcome back. Please unbuckle and lift up your belt. Your heart is set carefully over the new bar. Thank you for riding ice breaker and enjoy the rest of your day here at SeaWorld. Not in style. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine, <baby. laughs> Just got off of Icebreaker, that's the merch shop right there. We're gonna be heading out of the park for today. We did Mako five times today, Icebreaker six times today, and we did Kraken. Manta is closed for maintenance, but it will reopen on the weekend. And don't worry, we will be back soon. We've been here a lot in the past couple of weeks. Got Icebreaker going over there. And definitely check out that Seven Seas Food Festival that's going on. But we're about to go on the way to Universal, check out some Mardi Gras. And we're going to visit Peppa Pig theme park for media day, so stay tuned for that video. It's probably already posted, so does check it out. And you did see Colin's first reactions on Icebreaker. Check out his photography page. He's mostly on Facebook and Instagram, Real Hat Photography. And check out his YouTube theme parks and more. You can see some more content there. He did actually ride um, the back row after we filmed him. He liked the back row as well. It's, so It's much better for tall people in the back, the front. The first half of the vehicle is not made for tall people because I'm like almost six foot five and it's not made for me at all because when you first go back it's fine 
but that the first shot digs into your leg and I had like marks and stuff from it but it's a good ride I just don't suggest it if you're over like 6'6 six, six, because then you probably won't even be able to fit on it yeah I mean I'm 5'7 it cramps my legs if the lap bar gets pushed down so a trick that I use is I just hold the lap bar up and that usually helps so that's something you could do when riding and I definitely recommend doing that to help out so your legs don't get as painful thank you for watching guys um, photos we got some photo photos videos all that's on the social media so check that out on Twitter at Ethan Hershaft on Instagram at Florida theme park picks check it out and stay tuned for the next one thank you for watching